Coinop. Hey everybody, this is Dustin Morgan with Coinop. Today we we're gonna finish up uh, my little Jefferson Nickel series. This is part three of my Jefferson Nickel uh, series. This uh, video is on modern Jefferson Nickel varieties that you can find in Pocket Change. Now keep in mind that there are a lot of Jefferson Nickel varieties. There are websites you know, dedicated to it in books. This is just a very select few. So let's dive right on into it. We are gonna start with a 1956 triple die reverse. Uh, this is a double die reverse. It is listed as a double die reverse dash 024, DDR dash 024, or FS801. Uh, most of the reverse lettering is clearly doubled on this variety. You are looking at a 1964 double die obverse. Uh, it's listed as DDO-024. Uh, doubling is visible on In God We Trust on this variety. This is a 1975D with a misplaced mint mark. It is listed as FS401. The mint mark on this curious variety was placed too high and it's almost touching the date. Now you will find on uh, various different uh, denominations um, floating mint mark varieties. This is one of the more popular ones. So definitely keep your eyes open for this 1975D misplaced mint mark.
Okay, this is a much more modern variety. This is a 2004P Philadelphia Mint, uh, double die adverse, or DDO-001, or FS-101. Uh, doubling on this variety can be seen on the date, the designer's initials, the mint mark, the motto, and on Liberty. Uh, doubling does show as extra thickness with split serifs on late die stages, but early die stages you can actually see the line separation on it. This is a 2008 P or Philadelphia Mint double die reverse DDR-001. Uh, doubling shows uh, below the upper portion on the door frame on the center door above the steps on the Monticello building. This is a 2014 uh, P or Philadelphia Mint doubled die reverse DDR-002. Uh, doubling shows below the upper portion of the door frame on the center door above the steps on the Monticello building. We are going to finish up this video with our last variety in this uh, little segment. This is a 2016 Philadelphia Mint or P Mint uh, double die reverse. It is listed as a DDR-002. Now John Wexler does have this listed as a best of variety. Um, extra thickness shows on United States, Pluribus, uh, Five Cents, and the left side of the building. Monticello shows split serifs if you were looking at it.
So there you go. There are seven great varieties for you to keep your eyes open, uh, keep your jeweler's loops in hand, and um, try to track some of these puppies down. Now, a lot of the more modern varieties are not worth a whole lot in uncirculated conditions, anywhere from a couple bucks up to 15 maybe $20. But still, if you were to find a 2016 Double Die Reverse Nickel that's worth 15 bucks, you just made quite a bit of money on your five cent investment. So uh, I encourage you to keep searching. Stay tuned, subscribe for more, lots more videos on the way. Thanks for watching.